I try to eat local and fresh produce. I try to avoid conventional and try to go more organic. I am a poor college student, so sometimes organic isn't always available to me and available to my wallet. I try to get a lot of fruits and vegetables in me for those vitamins and minerals that are important. For like breakfast, I'll have like an English muffin with all natural peanut butter and like banana. I love melons in the summertime. I eat a lot of apples and a lot of pears. And sometimes for dessert, I love to grill peaches with vanilla ice cream. It is so good. I try to eat as many varieties of vegetables. Um, I try to stick to like a lean protein, like a chicken breast. Um, I don't eat too much beef, but I do enjoy a good hamburger from time to time and a good steak. Food is really important to me because I work as a sous chef and I love to cook and I love great food. I love to cook because it's artistic, it's inspiring. I am an artist and it's just a great passion of mine. So I've been watching this documentary called Chef's Table and it's a Netflix documentary going in on some of the world's best and creative chefs around the world. One of my favorite chefs, his name is Dan Barber and Dan Barber is all about eating local and fresh food and he's become very much like a revolutionary about sustainability and fresh local product. He's a huge inspiration of mine. One of my favorite books that he's written is called The Third Plate, and it goes into about the soil, the land, the sea, and the actual seed. And it goes on to say about sustainability and how we need to produce more organic products versus more conventional and contaminating our water supply, all of that. I mostly just define myself as American. There's a stereotype with American culture as being cheap, quick, fast. I don't really see that as my defining culture. I'm not really a fan of the American mentality of food because it's just super quick, fast, and easy. It's not an enjoyable experience where food is an enjoyable experience. And the Europeans get it right. They take hours out of their day just to enjoy food and to be around family versus American culture. People eat just by themselves, whether that be in their car or in their own home. I think I want to change that as being a sous chef and as an individual. I identify myself as a male. I'm also a gay male. I love to cook. I love to bake. I love to enjoy people. I'm very much a people person. I really value the time that people get together and make good memories around food. My food customs, I would say, is getting people all around me and enjoying a great experience of cooking with people and sharing ideas, sharing recipes. You know, really connecting with people on an individual basis and making food a communicable route. My food practices are meaningful to me because I'm able to connect on a personal level with someone and 
share my ideas, share my inspiration and my creativity through food. Like for special holidays like Christmas or like Thanksgiving, we do it very traditional. Thanksgiving is like turkey, mashed potatoes, gravy, stuffing, cranberry sauce, green beans. Christmas is like ham, scalloped potatoes, a lot of mashed potatoes. Those food habits like affect my life and giving me something to look forward to around those holidays. And I think those holidays really do bring people together. And my name is Stuart Hamill. I'm 21 years old. I'm a passionate cook. I work as a sous chef and I love fresh and local ingredients.